Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today it is a different video, it is a FC24 career mode video, we are doing a Portsmouth career mode because if you didn't know in real life, Portsmouth got promoted to the championship, so uh, yeah, we're doing a Portsmouth career mode, before we start smash the like button, smash the subscribe button as well if you're new and if you want to know on upload, you hit the notification bell and you will not miss one. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. There's the manager there. I thought I'd just say silent for that one. Here we are. We are. I picked the Tiki Taka uh, play style because I don't know. I don't even know the Portsmouth team, so I just thought I'd choose that. Um, so we're just picking the coaches now. Well, I'm picking the coaches now. Um, I mainly just pick Tiki Taka because that's the sort of football that I like playing in real life. You know, I like playing Tiki Taka. I like quick passing, quick movement, good vision, you know. So um, I thought that'd be a good one to do. <coughs> so bad, I got his goal. Something stuck in my throat. <coughs> oh. Okay, we are just about to finish up doing the coaches right now. I eventually just picked all the one-star ones for the goalkeeping because I just thought, let's just make the goalkeeping the ideal stars. And um, there we are. Youth Academy report was absolutely shocking, so I decided to get rid of that. And then I thought I'd sort the team out. Got Norris in goal. Norris is actually a decent keeper, so I actually like Norris. Um, I thought we'd do the 4 2 3 one, which is the default formation that we picked. Um, and then we, I just decided to swap around all the players that we needed in there. And uh, yeah, just did all that. Then I decided to see um, what players we had on loan and what players were out on loan. I don't think we had any players out on loan, but we had a few in on loan. And unfortunately, so they were some of our good players. I decided to get um, Anjor in from uh, Chelsea, tried to sign him on a permanent. Offered 1.2 mil, they wanted a 6% sell on clause. I weren't having it. 1.2 mil, 1.25 mil, they wanted. That's absolutely fine by me. Then we got into the negotiations. Um, tried to terminate his loan, which I didn't actually try to do. Get into the no negotiations. I don't know what he was on at Chelsea. It was saying a bit. 14 and a half grand, so that weren't ideal. We offered the important role. They accepted. They wanted a four-year deal, which I did accept as well. Because, you know, he's 21 years old. He's young. No really scores. They wanted 10k a week. I was alright giving 10k a week, but I wanted to try and lower. And then he wanted 11. And I were not having it. I didn't want him to have 11k a week. Tried to give him 8k a week. Tension was slowly getting higher and higher, but he did lower the signing bonus. So we were still saving some sort of money. Offered 8k a week again. And then we decided, I decided to try and do a high signing bonus. In the end, he got rid of the signing bonus and offered 11k. And I thought, I'm going to take the risk and just take it because I don't want to, the tension to get too high. So then he just storms out. But then, Tino and Jorin got him for 1.25 mil uh, from Chelsea. Got him on a permanent deal. Hopefully, uh, he can prove to be good in this career mode. He might be good in the future, in real life. You never know. Yeah, I just decided to sort some of the teams out. Um, we're just keeping going. You know, I'm going to try my best in these videos to try and keep it at least 10 minutes long. Um, and then after, I decided to scout some players. We needed a left back, I noticed. So I decided, why not do all the relegated teams and try and get their players in? Because um, this is the new season, so I relegated um, all the teams from each division in the English League. Um that got relegated and I promoted all the ones that got promoted um, and also another rule I'm doing guys I can't sign anyone higher than the highest rated player in the current team so Bishop is 70 rated we can't sign anyone that's 71 rated or above it has to be 70 rated or lower so yeah that was some, that's something that you lot need to keep in mind because I want to try to keep it realistic sorry I don't know what that was just then I think it was someone's laptop um, you should say, doo -doo -doo. Um, but yeah, we need we got the scouts back, but unfortunately for the goalies, they were too high rated. <coughs> Sorry guys, I keep coughing. I've got a really bad throat. 
And then what I decided to do here was I decided to offer all the players that had one year left on my contract, new contracts. Apart from that, I don't know his name, Oglevy, or whatever his name is. I didn't decide to give him one because I thought, if we're going to get another left back, there's no point in getting three left backs and then all being on important roles because then they're all just going to get pissed off and then leave. So I didn't want that. The only guy I actually went into negotiations with was Marlon Pack. I don't know why, though, because he's 32 years old, but I just thought he seems like a good player and he's our captain, I think. So I just thought keep him for at least another year. And if he retires, who? Uh, oh, well. Um, by the way, guys, um, let me know what you want me to do with all the players that we've got loaned in. Um, like, if you want me to sign them on a permanent deal, do you want me to just let their loans run out? Because there are a few players that we've got in on loan who aren't actually good enough to play in the first team, based on the ratings. Um, I'm talking of ratings, we got our scout reports back for all the left backs that we scouted. And... Josh Ruffle, 65 rated. The only one that I did was Emmanuel Longello. He was 65 rated, but he was 22 years old. And he's quite quick. So I thought, a left back overlapping. as sweet as a nut. Um, so I decided to come in for him. Offered 850 grand. They said no. They wanted our striker. And then like 320, 320 grand as well. So I think I offered 875. Did they accept it? Yes, they accepted it. I actually can't remember what um I can't remember how I like bought all the players as well. I can't remember. Um also guys let me know in the comments down below what players you want me to sign. Like who good would be good to sign. But yeah, so far the go negotiations with Longello are going well. He wants 7.5k a week, but clean sheets I want to get rid of. And that was that. We got our first ever signing for the Portsmouth career mode. Um a good signing as well, you know. Longello he's he wasn't, I don't know how good he was for Birmingham, but I know in FIFA, if you're 22 years old and you're like 65 rated, you've definitely got potential to go up in rating, especially if you get in first team football. I don't know what was going on with the shirt then. The guy was holding it sideways and he wasn't even connecting it. But that's our first signing. I also transfer listed that uh, Oglevy, I think I transfer listed. And then I decided... We need a 4-4-2 formation because although the 4-2-3-1 I do like, I also like the idea of having two strikers up top. So 4-4-2 formation, two strikers up top, one's a target man, one's a player to get in behind, one to maybe assist the target man. You can't really go wrong with that, can you? Uh, so yeah, Bishop up top. Bishop is going to be key in this career mode, 100%, because if he's 70 rated, and I don't know how well he was doing in real life, but if he's 70 rated, he must be somewhat decent, especially for Portsmouth. Portsmouth have actually got a lot of money, I didn't realise. Like, when I got into the grammar, they had about $8 million, and I think it was about $6 million, uh, quid. And some of their players on, like, 25k a week. Ridiculous. But we got an offer in here for Oglevy. I'm going to have a... I'm done. I can't speak, sorry, lads. That's how I'm going to pronounce his name. I wanted... They said I could maybe get 860k for him, so I tried to do that. But then I offered 830k, and they said no. Tight bastards. Then we got in again, another offer in from Preston North End. Two championship clubs so far. Pretty uh, pretty cool. Offered 850. They wanted 820. Yeah. Offered 850. They wouldn't go above it. It's only 30k difference. Then I decided to go down to 840. They still would say no. Like, come on. Like, and then fast forward, another offer in. This time from Coventry. Three championship teams want this left back. He must be somewhat decent, but... I don't know, maybe it's just my ball knowledge. He is only 27, to be fair. Uh, 830k, 790k. The tension was high, so I decided to go 800k because I just wanted to sell him. And we got the we got the money. And uh, we got a Morel transfer offer. Said no, he's a good player and he's somewhat young. But yeah, guys, um, I think this is where I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'm going to put out... You should have seen I put a community post out uh, the day before this video went out. So yeah, I'm going to do that for all the other videos as well. But thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next career mode. In a bit, guys.